Hi there, I'm Airly from airlywildy.com. I'm an online organization coach for women who run online businesses. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Form. Um, so I'm in Google Forms here. I've just done one, um, just you know, for the sake of practice. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you this one and then I'll show you how to start a new one. Um, so just loading. So this one is specifically to embed in my Facebook page um, so that I can collect uh, responses and book people into a discovery call. Uh, and golly, taking a long time. Um, so I will do another video after this one about how to set it up into your Facebook page. Um, but this is what it is so I've just got basic names um, and so you can have short answer questions you can have long answer questions you can have scales um, for rating things you can have uh, check boxes you can have multiple choice um, and okay um, so you can get all of those things within the form and um, the lovely thing about this is that once it gets, um, once it's finished and someone fills it in, then it goes to responses. Um, and you can see all the responses, they're collated all at once um, into a Google spreadsheet that is set up for you already. Um, and, golly, it's running slow. Um, I don't want that anymore. I don't need the picture. Just want to go to the next screen. Um, so that's what that is. So yeah, if I could set up the responses one, um, we'll see it. That would be helpful. But we'll do that maybe when we do the new one. So let's go to Google Forms. And we're going to start a new one. Um, and off we go. So it depends obviously on the function of your form. You need to work out what function it is. Is it to buy, book a product? Is it to get some information? Is it to get feedback? Um, all of those things need to be considered and you can map out the kinds of questions that you need to ask. Um, is it a survey? Um, all of those those answers could be, could be added. So, um, starts off with just the title so if you wanted to do a survey um, and you could say hi I'm early oh no hi survey hi I'm, early. I'm running this survey to see what you think about goal setting oh. Activity. So, first question, um, uh, do you have so see so here I can make this multiple choice. Um, the kind of question that I've asked could be multiple choice. So it could be option one and you can just click on there and it obviously highlights all of it and you can type straight in yes and then I can just enter and we'll go to the next option no um, sometimes and you can just click here add other uh, and then you can add a new question um, uh, Here's a question, do you get distracted easily? Um, if yes. So instead of doing a multiple choice, because I could easily do a multiple choice for that one, I'm going to just change that, if yes, what distracts you? So this can then be a paragraph answer. Oops. Um, and they could answer uh, just in, in their own text. So down here you can see a few of these options are to 
copy that question or I can trash it. Um, I can make it required. So the other thing I might ask is um, what's your name? And that would be required. And I can actually grab that and drop it at the top. And I'm going to change that to a short answer question. And then I'm going to duplicate that. And uh, you may not need to ask this in a survey, but um, you might like to have it. What's your email address? Short answer text. And that could be required too. Um, do you have trouble achieving your goals? Do you get distracted easily? Okay, so there are some of the elements. Um, you can add a section. So you could do part one and part two if you wanted to. Oh, um, so I'm going to merge with above that, split that. Um, you could add a video, you could add a picture. So I think um, up here, would be a good spot to add a picture so you can just obviously go into your file and pick um, an appropriate picture it might be one of you so that they know who you are you can add a title and description so the responses um, yes we're accepting responses so if you click here you can either create a spreadsheet and this could be called um, uh, 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 so it could be called survey responses or you could use an existing spreadsheet um, so if we create a new one and create so it's linking to the spreadsheet here's the spreadsheet coming up oh, that's my one look the picture is still loading that's taking a long time Close that. So a spreadsheet is all set up um, with, uh, it'll add automatically add the timestamp so you know what time they posted it. Um, name and see here's all your questions um, that we wrote in. Um, so you can easily see that it's also set it up so that um, the heading uh, questions are frozen there so you will also always see them okay so then we've gone back to our form um, some here you can set up to get an email notification for every new response so every time someone fills it that in you can be um, notified um, and you can also uh, send the responses to that. Um, so we knew that one already. Um, you can download the responses um, to one form, uh, which is a CSV file, um, which you may need depending on what you need them for. Um, so there we go. Some settings. You can change the color. Um, that's uh, or you can add a background image. I could use pink. Um, you can preview your survey. I didn't change the colour. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, and further settings. Um, so general settings is the person only allowed one response. So if it was a, if you are running some kind of competition, then um, that might be important. Um, can people see a summary of their responses or edit their responses after they've finished? Um, it's up to your personal preference. Show progress bar. I kind of like people being able to see how much they've got. Um, and then is it a quiz? Um, make this a quiz. Um, no, it's not a quiz survey. Um, so there you go. So you can uh, then start uh, sharing your Google form. You can send it 
you can get a link um, and you can get an iframe um, HTML code. Um, now this is where you can then um, use this code and um, something like Woobox or Shortstack to um, then embed that into your um, Facebook page and collect survey responses from your Facebook page. And I will show you how to do that in another video. Okay, thanks. Bye.